I love Bindi to bits. I mean, I think if it wasn't for Bindi, I probably wouldn't be here now. About a year ago, I was sitting here in this very chair and Bindi was on my lap, fast asleep. Um, and as she turned over and stretched, her back legs went out, her front legs came um, up over my shoulder. And as she relaxed down, um, she just stopped over my right side of my chest. Her claws did come out, but she pressed her paws into my chest and stared up at me. Her ears went back. She went stiff and I naturally thought she was having a seizure. So I thought there was something wrong with Bindi. So I stood up and pushed her down and she just looked back at me disdainfully and walked off. And I thought, oh, I felt that. So I rubbed, you know, obviously where, it, where she, her claws had uh, pricked me. And then obviously found something a little bit hard. There wasn't a lump and I had it checked out. Next day with my GP, she sent me for a, ma a mammogram and then following two lots of biopsies, Three weeks after that date, I actually had a mastectomy. My consultant said to me, uh, the night I left hospital, he said, I think you can thank your cat for saving your life.